Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Dynalite Digital Microscope. The model of this one is the AM2111. It's a very handy USB digital microscope, and it's pretty amazing, really, for, for the price of this. It lets you get up to 230x magnification, and it only comes with a couple of little accessories here. This is just a simple plastic stand that you can store this in when you're not using it. And then they give you a uh, cord management wrap here that you can just use to keep the cord tidy when not in use. Now this connects to your uh, Mac Macintosh computer or it'll also connect to PC just using the USB cord. The cord is pretty lengthy, it's almost six feet long so it gives you some flexibility in how you can use this. And uh, this is just very simple to use. You have the lights in the end here which light up and that illuminates the object that you want to look at and then you simply have a focus wheel here this is kind of a focus and magnification wheel depending on how close or far away you are from the object uh, is going to determine the level of magnification that you get and then you use this to dial in the focus uh, so it works best I guess when you have some sort of a stand to put this in in order to free up both your hands but otherwise you have to hold it with one hand and then use this with the other hand to focus now it really works well it's a lot of fun and you can just look at all sorts of things with this and should you choose to you can even look at your skin the hairs on your hand for instance um, you can look at little flowers bugs whatever you want to look at you really can use this on and the fact that the LED lights illuminate everything that you're looking at really makes it fun to use. Now the PC software is a little more functional than the Macintosh software uh, as far as the number of formats that you can save things at. On the Mac you can only save movie files as MOV files, but on the PC you have many more formats available to you. Uh, and on the Macintosh, I did not check the PC software because I don't have one, but uh, on the Macintosh the software is somewhat limited, but it does give you some very basic annotation. Uh, you, can, you can draw lines and boxes around things, but uh, it's really, really very basic. However, once you get the uh, image in sight here, uh, it's going to give you 640 by 480 resolution. So all in all, it is quite a fun little thing to use. It's going to be great for kids, the budding scientists. And uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.